plant's gonna grow. Now you want these arm positions to be about four inches apart. So boom, perfect, four inches. But now I have to decide how I'm actually going to develop these. And this is where we start getting into asking how much do I want to leave? So with cane pruning, you're kind of leaving to fill the entire area you have or filling for Thompson, getting up to 15 because that's where your fruit is gonna be is 11 to 15. For here, we actually have to start making the decision of how much can this little tiny shoot handle? So, what you have to think about is that there is vascular tissue inside of this that is going to have to move all the water and nutrients that this possible shoots here are going to take up. So you need to make sure that this skinny little shoot doesn't have more to uh, support than it can handle. So when you're a number two pencil or smaller, you wanna leave one bud. And in this case, I'm gonna count that lowest bud. If you notice this, these bud right here is actually nice and pointed. It's actually already got some fluff coming out of it. So it's already getting ready to break. So that's actually gonna grow. So I'm gonna cut all the way down to that. And hopefully next season, that little tiny shoot will develop enough to be an arm position. Now this one here is also pretty weak. So I'm also gonna just leave it down to one. Now, so four apart. Here's the next four. If you notice, we have this one in the middle here coming up. Now, if worst came to worst and there's nothing else around, I could leave this because let's say there's nothing out here and use this as a growth spot to just get something. But it's facing down, it's pretty weak, and I have growth over here. So I'm gonna wanna cut this back as fleshly as possible to get rid of that spot. I'm then gonna come over to this one, correct length, and cut it nice and short to hopefully have growth coming out of this. There's actually a little bud over there. I might cut back to that if this was a vineyard I'd be coming back to, but it's not, so I'll cut it to the one you guys can see and leave one arm position, arm position, arm position. Now going the other direction, we notice that we get back to this one. That's a little more than four inches. We'd like our growth to be here, but this is the next thing we got. And it's actually a halfway decent size. So that's probably about a number two pencil. That's where I'd call that. Now, this is got a bit of space here. That's really weak. So I'm actually gonna leave one, two buds on that. Cutting this back to only one bud would not be a bad call. But because I've got really weak growth out here, I'm going to leave two just so that there's a little bit more. Now, four inches back again, we get to here. Now, notice there's some growth up here that we probably hoped had grown, but all we got were these ones underneath. So now I have to try to make an arm position right here off of not much. Um, So going into the middle is just as bad as coming out into the row. And this one's the farthest in, so I'm actually gonna get rid of that and that and that, because I don't want anything in here. This one is better positioned. This is the one I really want and I'm trying to convince myself in my head is worthy of keeping around. So I am going to cut to it, but this one here is actually a better looking position. So I'm actually going to leave both because I want to hedge my bets. This one is the better position, but it is weaker. So I'm leaving it to hope that that grows and I can get back to it next year. But I'm leaving this because that's the one that's more likely to grow. Um, it is lower down, so maybe it invigorates and this higher up one gets the energy. Or maybe it doesn't. <sighs> Do the ones behind